property. This one. So, just gotta do a ton of side quests today. Got stuff. Probably gonna take a little while. Go to Tidewash Cave. This quest. I did upgrade my kingdom last night, so I don't have to go back every 10 minutes and uh, be the coffers. We do all this stuff for over an hour before it maxes out. So that's good. is kind of stalled out a little bit, which is fine, because I'm doing all this stuff and then get, getting distracted by other things. switch to uh, the item stealing stuff. Ah, here we go. That's what I needed. Turn deep sea water. Cool. All right. Deep sea water. This is what so that's needed for a potion. Yes. It's so come. We're gonna take it back to Hydropolis. Okay. No problem over there. Dreamer's Maze. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do it. Make an assessment of uh, monstrously overcrowded. Oh, I think that was like bonuses I get or something. Oh, that shows the location of items and stuff. That's right, because I got the upgrades. Yeah. I got nothing. Whoa, well, get the fuck in there and fight stuff, please. Might have him built wrong. I don't know. Lately, I've been seeing him do that a lot where he doesn't. chest over this way. Watch your back! <laughs> 
Dreamer's Maze, you can't just unlock those. Screw that chest then. Go right to the door. That's right, I think once I enter... Uh, like the door I entered from disappears. So this is the more recent one, I think. Yeah. This is the next level one. Uh, let's continue the next floor. I wonder if they're part of... If I can get them for the kill quest too, do I have? Fight that one. 
charge up my weapons with this. With this. Touch the service room for sure. Uh, yeah. It's not bad, that heals up everybody, so... Got some more orbs. Okay. Alright, next level. kinds of materials there are in the world. Stone sap, vegetables, cloth, are all incredible. I brought a special selection for my personal collection of me today, actually. Since you're considering like me, tell me you. If you want to swap, you some choice materials for an arm or two if you like. If you don't know what you're getting until you've coughed up. If you don't know what you're getting until you've coughed up. That's half the fun, but for 10 orbs, I'll give you 10 of what I've got. Sound good? Uh... No, thanks. Oh, you guys weren't about you. All well, comes together again and finally realize how magical materials can be. This is the last level. Sure. <coughs> I don't get a bonus for holding on to those. handle things on danger level 3. I don't know about danger level 4. Depends what.
there's the next door. But I want to get some of these items. Chests and such. I know where that is. Man, this radar is really handy. Damn. Yeah, there's so so there are 45. There goes now. nothing. <laughs> these statues do is just decrease the danger. Spend some more here to drop the level by one. I'm okay. Kind of. Next level. It wouldn't surprise me if at this point the final boss is like a 60 or something. Or the maze, anyways, not the game. I forgot how many these mazes consist of levels. So I didn't do this one initially. I was like, well, I'll come back a little bit later because I don't want to do it now. But I forgot that. It's not like an XP waste to stand here for. to be here for 20 minutes just killing low level things. It, a lot more levels to the mazes and danger level increases, so. But worth it. 
worth it to do them. For the most part, anyways. You ready for this? <laughs> That sounded like the Borsha from uh, Mass Effect 2. I remember they're in Mass Effect 3. I'll talk to that spirit in a moment. More orbs here. I'm gonna do it now because if I don't. Oh fuck. Oh, never mind then. Fuck am I randomly fighting? Oh, there's something down here. Yeah, son of a bitch. That really sucks. I was going to. Well, I got an achievement for it. Let's see what levels we're dealing with here. down by one. There were 54 at that point. That'll be like level 60. And that's gonna be a major fight. And since the final one is usually the toughest. Down here. What as far down as I can go here, right? side quests. Still gonna take a little while to don't do some weapon upgrading, armor upgrading, just general maintenance kind of stuff. Something really terrifying behind the door. Eh, continue next floor. Final level. dealing with before I fight it. I don't know, I don't think you get a bonus for having having a lot of purple orbs at the end of oh, fuck. What level is that?
I fight it? Classified as natural, solid. Got water. Actually, I, don't know, I might go wind. I'll stick with this. I think that's okay. Excuse me. Got some food here. This has two minutes, but I have the buff, so it doubles it, so I have to remember that. Research I did doubles all the uh Wow, that recharge is very good. Just yet. Okay, next quest. Um. Wyverns, okay. Those. Or 
gardening. Oh, that's right. And a locked chest I can now unlock. Nice. Deeper roguish boots. Boy, Dracon man. By your what? We're not gonna eat you or anything's so come out and say I do, ain't it? Something gigantic. Mm. No sign of him anywhere. Perhaps he's gone somewhere else. Of course he has one. Poor Dab's not had anyone feed him for ages. He's probably gone off to look for some grub. Uh. Oh. Oh my goodness! Oh, wave worm? Yeah, it comes! Alright, Evan, run. Throw it about you. Looks like this is where our Dragon Knight comes to his exciting conclusion, whether we like it or not. What do you mean? Well, if these eagle eyes of mine ain't playing tricks on me, and they ain't, that's a collar with a heart-shaped silver pendant, I spy. Golly! Golly, you mean Drake Hunt's collar. That's right, man. So, my boy, poor dad's been eaten by this year, dragony so-and-so. That, that's awful. No! Clap for him! We ain't getting out. out of this without a fight. Let's get that collar back and turn it to our little friend. Watch this! Oh, it is. Oh, Frickin' into it.
There. Hey, what's up with you all of a sudden, man? I was hoping we wouldn't have to kill it. Grrrg. Smell I like, I remember. Grrrg. Blobber. Yeah, because it smells the tree. Wait, Laffy, you think he's talking about the food that little girl gave us? Flippin' Hang on, that would mean flippin' heck, man. You mean her so-called pet was a flippin' wave worm? Crikey, no wonder her poor ma'am was worried. Excuse me, Mr. Wyvern, is your name Dracon? Are you or friends with a little girl who lives in Hydropolis? Heard my name Dracon, or yes, but three centuries before. What? Three centuries? <gasps> Must be how long it's been since poor dad last met our pal back in Hydropolis. Of course, man. Times kept ticking by from the whole time they were stu stuck in that loop. She forget, forget about me. Or she abandoned me. Oh, but she hasn't abandoned you. Look, she gave us this to give it to you. Said this was your favorite food, and she'd been really worried about you, you know. That's her snack. Or she, she remember me? Mm. Yes, I think you. T yes, I think you two should meet up. We'll be friends again in no time. I just know it. You're a monster. You mean a monster? No friends. Really? I'm sure she'd love to see you. You know. You're, you're, uh, you help me. Do this to her. Same drink on skull. Gift her from her to me. Now I give back. <sighs> he wasn't much of a one for listening, was he? Said this piece has to do him fairer than naft off. We're creatures, eh? So what are we gonna do now, man? We're gonna head back to Hydropolis and return the caller as he asked. All that. You're just disappearing, or am I just thinking weird? Am I seeing things? Well. Alright, um. Oh. Yeah, let's go hand this in. And in both of these, actually. Oh, there you are. Well, did you find my dracon? Is he well? Hmm. Well, he's definitely doing well. He's a lot bigger than we expected, actually. Woo! Really? Well, that's wonderful to hear. I still slip away from mother and go see go to see him again. Ah, well, that may be rather difficult. I'm afraid. You see, he left the cave and went off somewhere, but he asked us to give you this dracon's collar. Hmm. Oh, I gave him this as a present. Why? Why would he send it back to me? Is he angry with me? Surely he cannot be. And after all, I have done for him. Oh no, he's not angry with you at all, it's just that he's grown up now. He doesn't want you to feel you have to look after him anymore. Be back his color as well. Great, thank you for all you've done for him. Great, I see. I suppose I still do th I do still think of him as the clumsy young lizard I first found, but he has grown rather a lot. Perhaps it really is time for him to go free. I miss him terribly, of course. But I am also very proud of having raised him to be able to fend for himself at last. Mm. Oh, you should be proud. And I know that Dracon would say the same if you were here. Oh well, my dear Dracon, I shall never forget you. I'm sure he'll never forget you either. That music. Okay, so, got that. There's a quest here. Turn in a couple of these quests here. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Well, favorite fruit Sunday has got people lining up for a bite. It's selling so well they can barely make enough of them. That's where their income comes in. We need to supply the fruit while they're busy in the kitchen. Boots. I go back to the 
access aware to have turn issues with perception as you said your legs look slimmer instead. <laughs> Pride Pride game, this one's from the sky. Seems they have to go out hungry, get hungry on their long journeys, and they're after like white, they won't have to stop wanting to eat. So if anything, I might fit the bill. Yep, we'll take these co uh, expensive, expensive ones. Maybe they have trouble with dragons up in the mountains, they're for us for seven. But, uh, sure. Windworms, no problem. I'll do this because I got tons of these. This one, so I can hand that in. Um, I got lots of those, lots of those. I just want to stock up for all the other things I'm going to need. There are citizens later on. Yeah. Rhea Aquarius called Deep Sea Water. It is to be found in a cave on an inland part of the world that receives far less sunlight than Nitropolis. Hey! Rhea Aquarius, Thetis, Thetis, we brought you some deep sea water. Thanks. Oh, thank you now. I'll be able to complete my potion, and the will be able to travel the world without fear of feeling unwell. You'll wait here just a moment while I mix up the concoction. Go for it. Perfect. Next year, I've been able to mix up a sizable quantity of a potion, and I'm sure we'll work exactly as we need it to. With this, I can help both those already afflicted and those who wish to travel the world. Thank you very much. I'm Leander. I've been to my gratitude once again. Your first humor of Hulk and drop are now free. Now freer than ever before. I was rather a sickly child, that is why I, that's why I became a doctor, so it makes me very happy to be able to heal the sick. Nothing more, in fact. Well, nothing more, in fact. 
Then perhaps we should consider the asset that has joined us in our kingdom. Such a compassionate and talented physician would truly be a great asset. Indeed, I've heard of your new nation. All the peoples of the world gather there, do they not? I'm sure it is not only the merfolk who suffer when they stray outside their natural habitat. In other words, there may be many more ailing individuals there who require my aid. I welcome the opportunity to travel there and help them. Sure. Mm. Really, how fantastic. Thanks to this. Wonderful to have you on board. Cool. Alright. Let's head back to... Anything else here? Not right now. Back to Evermore. Say. Am I mind that could really make a difference to your kingdom? Yep. Stores are filled up. Not yet on that. I don't know what else we got here. Here's other research. Refreshing mushroom tastes just as bright and breezy as it looks. Bring the mushroom using to match it. I think matches that description of bright and breezy. Cloudlessness of their caps, bright and breezy as they look. Yeah. I think it's blue sky button tops. Cloudlessness, mm. yeah. Seven. There's some blue sky button tops. They really do taste as bright and breezy as they look. Yes. Yep. <sighs> Goodness, nerves for a moment there. Your face doesn't give anything away, does it, honey? <laughs> your nerves never harmed anyone, your majesty. You mustn't stay in your auto comfort zone all the time. Oh, so not only battle could make you so tense. Well, you got it right. That was a tricky question too. Well, I'll show and struggle when it comes to blue sky button tops. <laughs> sure they do. It was just a lucky guess, I think. Oh, I doubt luck had anything to do with it. Now, you're, are you ready for the final questions? Probably the most difficult of them all. All right. Why are we in any? I want to see if I can get them all right. Mm. All right, here we go. This mushroom may look sweet and beautiful, but its flavor is famously awful. Can you read me something that fits this description? 
I think it's, it's probably cutesy pops. Let me see, what was the description? It looks sweet and beautiful, but it's flavor. Okay, it's cutesy pops. Mm. Oh, the honey, this mushroom looks adorable. This taste is absolutely disgusting. Yes. Well done, Evan. That's the correct answer. That's three out of three. Pass the test. Congratulations. Gosh. Gosh, it's a relief. I was fairly confident about that last one. It was still nerve wracking, waiting for you to tell me if I got it right. Imagine we did well to identify the cutesy pop. They are indeed more valued for their appearance than their flavor, though the tiniest trace of their cloying, sickly sweetness can sometimes give a cake a little extra something. This is prob I suppose probably could. Is it wonderful how everything has its use? Indeed it is, and that's one of the most important lessons any child can learn. Thank you! Well, thank you for teaching me, Henny. Alright, Evan, that's the end of the test. Well done on finishing it. It really wasn't easy. I'm gonna make a few adjustments before I have the children give it a try. Thank you very much. I said I can't wait to see their face and tell them the king of themselves took the very same mushroom spotting test as them. Past flying colors. Hello. Well, I'm my dear. Now I have a homework for you here. Take this and try to find the best way to use it. Make sure you report back to me, won't you? And a piece of quality cloth. Thank you. Hello. My dear, I just want to tell you how much I was in teaching here never more. Watching all the children learn together is a delight. Whether they're a cat or a mouse or a lapaca. Or that matters here. I think they used to be your tutor, and now I'm watching you build a whole new kingdom. Your father would be so proud, I just know it. <laughs> I see when people struggle with something, and they find, finally overcome that. I feel so proud that I can burst. Yes. I'm planning on taking my pupils out of the fields to pick some vegetables. That way they can experience at first hand the bounty of nature and the wonder of life. Cool. <laughs> Folks here are so exotic, it's kind of like peanuts versus. Kingdom stage and relative part of the most amazing variety show ever. Yeah. Or that way down is more trouble semester. I bet she's quite a mover. If I ever need to cast someone for an act sequence, I'll be sure to call her people. Hey! I mean yes, did you ever tread the boards, Evan? Pretty sure you'd be a natural. Hmm. The trail of Hydropolis deep beneath the ocean, we're not mere shit. Thankfully this is not the case. Here nevermore, I'll may visit and I'll may pray there. Robust indeed. If Glaucus has anything to say about her. Glaucus, Glaucus. I don't know. Hi there! Not two hours, sure, Kingdom look like a fine old place, and no mistake, look for a day when you finally unite the world, lad. We'll have ourselves a banquet to end all banquets. Ha ha ha. Ahoy there! You know, lad, if you want to make a go or your kingdom, you make sure your coffers are always full of verse and when I head out on a little treasure hunt in the next edition. Oh. This tides around Hydropolis here, the sea is much more difficult to gauge. It'll take time for me to understand it's changing moods. Oh. I was fishing the other day and caught a stellar jelly. I thought it might be an enormous specimen, but alas, not so. Perhaps next time. Uh huh. Mm. I think that's enough to level up. Go for it. <coughs> oh, 
Holy shit. So two mallets, two spears. counters what? Mallets counter spears, and swords counter mallets. Mallets counter spears, so we need... Use... Oh yeah, 
fire away. We're about to stand by it. <laughs> Hi -ya! What the flip? Closer. That's the end of that. Hi. Don't oh, flame me away. You beat me again. How come you get all the lucky point here, Pip Squeak? Not exactly. It has nothing to do with the Tyrant the Kingdom of Evermore. It's justice on its side. <laughs> yeah, pull the other one. This here's my territory, I'm just letting you borrow it for a while, that's all. I got big plans for this place, I'm gonna turn it into the wildest kingdom in the whole world. Place for bandits, bruisers, and bad blokes from all over to come. Go right at home. So you enjoy your little stint here, kitty cat. I'll be back for long and I'll be coming to claim what's mine. Oh, Tommen! 
Yeah, to you, to you for telling us all your plans, pal. I suppose we better expect another visit sooner or later, then, eh? Yes. Yes, and realize that protecting your orange borders was such hard work. That's right, man. Of course it is, man. It's all part of running an upcoming kingdom, ain't it? Take it one battle at a time, Evan, you'll do fine. Mmm. Hope so. I'm sure if we all work together, we'll be able to fend him off again. <laughs> Fish, Bountiful Bazaar, Fabulous Fish, Towering Lumber Yard, Multidimensional Lab, Let's research this one. And expert explorers guild, okay. How much is that though? Eight thousand, okay. I'll be right back in just a few minutes, quick bathroom break.
right back. Uh, let's see here. Uh huh. Let's go stop at the uh, general store. See what I got in there. Come to do some shopping, eh? Well, welcome, welcome. You just buy anything you like, be sure to snap it up. I'd like to buy, please. Free leaf. Hmm. Start using the rest of that. I got 20 of those. Oh, I saw. can I do for you? Sure. I'll be seeing you again then. <laughs> right when I was fishing here, you haven't only attacked me. Thank you. Hmm. I'm starting to design my own net in order to maximize my catch, but every idea I have seems to be full of holes. I must be black and see what advice you can offer. <laughs> uh, I have such a wonderful moon day. I must go out and share it with the world. Hey. Yeah. This is duty to commune with their kingmaker and tell the people what it wishes them to know. Feeling that one day I might become a true priestess to make my sisters and worship proud. Hmm. I've already dispatched you to investigate this disturbance. They're currently stationed in the southwest of the kingdom. They will be able to provide you with further details, I'm sure. I've got enough food for now, so I'm okay there. Hmm. Do you have your fortune told? One look at you is enough. Whatever path you choose, you will surely succeed. Thank you. Mm, let me stop and heal up. Save as well. Imperial hmm. and elegant Imperial and you like. Can't do that one yet. So. Okay. Silly and painted girls until me must go to their worship at Thomas's feet, but these St. Lee's are affection turned to another. <sighs> oh, I should go do um Capstan Hall.
challenge one, find a venomous fish and bring it to me. Venomous fish. Excellent ship right in my kingdom too. Catch you mean I he's not a terrible boat builder right enough. Wouldn't say too many nice things about him though. If he hears you, they'll only go straight to his head. <laughs> ah, thanks for the ice scaling um this is like moving my kingdom as well. Tom. For invitation, but I'll be right. I spent so long waiting here for that daft. I forward to die, I'll ever be able to uh, do all else now. Who's your right. for? He died this out from here years ago and he's not been back since. Look, I'm not soft in the head. I know how dangerous it is on the ICs. I know what I'm doing, like, it's not. But there's there's a part of me that feels like he's still out there somewhere. Listen, you'll be setting, setting sail on that ship, catch me making 40 for a long, eh? If you have to spot me dad in your travels, you let me know. Yeah. Mm. Of course, we sure to keep an eye out for him. Do you have any idea where he was sailing when you, to when you last saw him? <coughs> Excuse me. Said you were headed for the dry lands. Thank you for the seven. It means a lot. Shipwright from Captain Pono Hall, spend your days. I was see waiting for a father to return. Perhaps someone in the company could set out track, set out try and track him down. She'd certainly be very relieved to know what has become of him. Right. I said you're right in the dry lands, so if you keep an eye out for him on your travels, I'd be very right grateful. Oh. Yeah, it's very right bad. This not gets done about. I'll be kicking the bucket soon enough. Kicking that, oh my goodness, really, what's the matter? Oh, you heard that, did you? Well, I suppose there's no harm telling you what's what. The fact of the matter is there's an ode of invasive fungi ruining all the edible mushrooms. I know you'll likely think this that if I can't live without the mushrooms, or I don't suppose you could do out to help, me. Well, I'm I'd certainly be willing to try, but what would I do? Take out the um, mushrooms, that's what should be right close by. Stick on... Tail one of them little sporcinos and I'll lead you straight to me. I'm sure of it. Here it's about you, man. These mud rooms always have plenty of little ones protecting them, but you can't let them put you off. She needs to be taken care of. We need to follow a sporcino back to its mum's room. And yes. Right. That's right. Hey, youngster, catch on quick. Very much youngin'. Yeah, I'm most likely to find a mum's room somewhere in Urt Grove. It's righty, windy, meso pass in there, so mind you don't get lost. And I think you will, of course. You'll be right as rain. Capsi and Pono Holes are really fond of discovering the invasive species of fungi, destroying the evil crop at his favorite mushroom picking spot. So, let him track down the source of these meddlesome invaders and nip the problem in the spore. Aye. Well, Porcino and Dark Grove and the little blighters bound to lead you right to the mushroom, then you'll do that bad man clobbering. Okay. Hey, Alt. Yep, you're that little cat king, eh? Who reminds that you're taking a trip around the world. Now, I don't want you to think I'm copying you or out, but it's made me decide to hop on board my brand new boat and set out on a little voyage of my own. Mm. Sounds wonderful. We'll probably bump into each other on, your tri on our Aye. travels. I haven't we might. There's a whole new life waiting for me on the other side of the ocean, I'm sure of it. Just a spot of Rowan, and I'll find me Dream Kingdom. What the? Yeah, well, I'm on Rowan. Now, listen, you know you're a seafaring vessel better than me, but how are you sure Rowan a boat's gonna. Sure, a Roman boat's gonna cut the intercontinental mustard. Oh, I'll be right, don't worry. Plenty of Ron see me through. Worst comes to worst, and the old girl sinks, I can just swim ashore. 
embarrassing though, eh? Imagine how fucking laughing both say. What would we be in a ship right now? Mm. Don't you think you should give it a try one first, you know, just in case? If you try rowing to somewhere near Capstan, at least you can count and come straight back if something goes wrong. That's not a bad idea, is it? Tell you what. I'll have a row down to my favorite beach before I set off properly. It's not too far from here. There's a good view of that big crack and see from there and all. Probably for the best day. Eh? Thank you for giving me the idea, lad. To raw for now. I can see, eh? I suppose you mean the big waterfall I bet's in or a bad place to start an adventure, eh? Hmm. Fair enough, nice to hear that our adventures and inspire now just go out and see the world in it. <laughs> so it is. And didn't you think the beach you mentioned sounded lovely? I almost think it would be a shame not to go and see it for ourselves. Ship right from Capstan upon Hall has been inspired by an adventure to go out on a journey of his own. He's planning on taking his rowing boat across the ocean and life in Farley Island. I'm very curious about how it's all going to pan out. So you're always trying to follow him. Let's see. See, I need even keel. Need two of those for the next boat quest. Done yet? God, there's so many. Friggin' side quests and stuff. I do want to make my kingdom grow. You know, I felt so sorry for you after the coup and everything. I mean, it must yeah. have been awful. But now I hear that you set up a home in the kingdom. I'm ever so happy for you. I've shared your success. Thank you. you. Thank you very much. You're welcome to come live there too if you like. Mm, you know, I've really come to like life here in Capstan upon Hall. Oh, I see. There's one thing that's not ideal. People around here, they don't seem to be very interested in shoes. They all seem to prefer sandals, actually. They try to make a living repairing hey. those. Now, if your kingdom was the kind of place where I could really put my cobbling talents to use, then I'd probably move there without a second thought. If you develop 25 or more different types of armor and accessories, I might be convinced that your kingdom was the place for me. <laughs> Chris and a cobbler fled from Ding Dong Dell. Made a new life for himself, making and repairing shoes and capturing upon hall, but he really misses being able to make new shoes order. When I offer him a roll and over more ensure that all your subjects can enjoy the finest of footwear. Develop 25 or more types of armor or accessories. Hmm. I'm gonna make sure I'm going somewhere and my shoes will be appreciated. Develop 25 or more different types of armor and accessories, maybe I'll move to your kingdom. Okay, that's not bad. Make a bunch of cheap ones and then vendor them. Vendorino! Our farvel is smell the sea, it is sweet smell of victory. I don't like the looks of this one. You know what they say about folks talking themselves in it? Huh? Alright, seems a word of the rebirth of mighty Pawa spread. You've done well, seek me out. Mighty Umhu. Wow, the greatest canine of them all, the hero dog folk everywhere, his bark shattered continents by the universe, he was a bona fide legend. Now he has been reborn, yes, you're looking at none other than the reincarnation of Pa Wa himself. Gosh! Gosh, I suppose he must be very strong then. <laughs> very strong, or far if you, you have no idea, little boy, still is always a pleasure to meet and admire. These are the encounters that make a pilgrimage such as this worthwhile. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang. It's a moment by yours, so you really reckon you're this pawwaw bloke born again? Lofty shit. If you're not a little boy, it's quite normal to doubt one's eye when the presence of greatness. Fortunately, I'm prepared to prove myself, and I'm prepared to recreate one of pawwaw's most legendary feats. Namely, the single digit smiting of the wolves. Huh? Well, digit, oh, you mean like a finger, ain't it? <laughs> exactly so, in day zero, pawwaw famously defeated a pack of wolves that were terrorizing and started using nothing but his little finger. Now I shall do the same, there will be no doubt that I am indeed in his reincarnation. We no longer see victory beckons. Oh. Mm. Off he goes, really think he's gonna try and poke some wolves. Sounds like a yeah, I need another wolves he'll find around by your or hedgehounds. I wouldn't like to see anyone take on one of them, just their little finger. I'll get bitten right off, man. You should go make sure he's alright before something awful happens. You went wrong there! We should, yeah. Come on, my boy, follow the dog. 
Set Clef near Cap Stan stands a young man with a burning ambition to follow in footsteps of the mighty warrior of Yor. He set off to a cave full of head challenge without a single weapon or a piece of armor to his name. I'm gonna better get after him, make sure nothing terrible happens. Is that everyone in here now? Yep. Ah. fish yet. I'll do this next because it's a close one. These were lower level quests so I kind of skipped a whole bunch. Well, hello there. Very much. She's the leader, so... Okay. It's not too bad doing these, because again, my kingdom's generating king's guilders and everything, and... Good way to slowly get some upgrades going. Oh, that's right, the ship and this are separate. I just didn't get upgraded to the ship. What level is this? Come on. There we go. What level is it? Yeah, we can kill this one. Too. Damn. Okay, this one just disappeared. It's fine. Monster over here. to engage it anyways. Wave worm. Whoops. Water. Whoop. As well. Eh, I don't think I need fruit for this. Let's see how this goes. Oh! <laughs> 
That's crap. Dang, man, that's frustrating to do. I'm expecting help. to go down to select somebody else. But you have to cancel out of it and then select the next one. Stir staff. That looks real good. Holy shit. Oh, I didn't, I forgot about that one. Damn, 72, 47. Yeah. Look at it. Not only a stone throw from Capstan, but it feels like another world. Ah, you decided to join me, did you? That's good lad. I wouldn't have wanted you to miss out on this. Mm. You're right, it's beautiful. Alright, this is only the beginning. Now that I've proven that there's not wrong wooden boat, rolls me away, sir. You're excited for you to tell her if you're already decided where you're going next. Aye. My lad, as a matter of fact, I have. There's a little island out near I drop list I've always wanted to visit. Right here, it's a perfect place for a bloke like me. You can fish in a nice beach to lounge on, you know. Oh my! It's wonderful, I'm sure you enjoy living in a place like that. Tara! Alright, well maybe I'll see you there, eh? Too raw for now. Oh, let's go visit him. Blue dots, are those locked chests? There's one right there by Crossover Bridge. Actually, I can go this way, so. something to that one. Need the ship.
use uh, Juvenate on this. stuff here I can grab. Corn shells. So let's go. Is that two odd codes? I thought that was a cave or code there. Should be in this cave, I think, is where the bounty hunts are. I think. Or not. Getting distracted by all this stuff. Go to do side quests. Get sidetracked by all the random shit. Dude, there's nothing. this time.
which I do not recall at all. Oh, Sundown Woods. That be at Y'all's Forest. No. I'm right to a chest. That's cool. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, by gum, talk about a site for sore eyes. I had no idea a place like this even existed. In nature, Kraken. Yep, I dropped this place for me. I always knew it were. Only it weren't so. One minute. Oh, eat. Takes it right out of you. Hello. What's up? Came to see how you were getting on. Hello there. Hello there, me little cat king pal. Welcome to uh, me new um, home. Make yourself at her home. Mm -hmm. All right, you seem a little tired. <laughs> yeah. Try me by echo now. I'm full of beans. Chuh, full. I don't seem full of beans. Beans, in fact, you look positively unwell. I'll be honest with you. Roll from Capstan took it right out of me. My arms feel like they're going to fall off by the time I got here. This island's lovely and all, but well, it's a little bit sunnier than I were expecting. A lot, in fact. Oh, who am I kidding? It's flipping boiling. I don't think I can live here. Hmm. I see. Well, in that case, the best thing probably for you to head back home. You don't want to travel any further if you're not at your best. Home to Capstan, you mean? Oh, no. No, no, no. I shouldn't be doing that. I told all me pals I'm off to explore the world and find me Dream Kingdom. If I go back now, I'll be laughing to suck. No, I have to push on so anyway. I mean, you understand? Lop can't go back on his word and not look like a right plonker, can he? <laughs> I suppose so. Where are you planning going on that? Where are, where are you planning going on next? Oh, I rot. Open to find somewhere with not too much sun, but where it's not too cold either. And I'd be needing shelter, so if I could find a cave or summit, that'd be ideal. Hmm. Even place where it's not too hot or too cold. Well, good luck, Phil. I hope you find out find what you're looking for soon. Sa. Glad I hope so too. I'll not lie, I'm ready to pack all this travel mark and settle down. In your road, I'll be seeing, in your, seeing ya. I'm in a cave somewhere where it's not too hot or too cold. guy I think I can take it on but uh, I gotta heal up first items okay, I gotta go with food 
one first. already set there. Uh, looks like melee, so. It's about my level. No! This area in which Ked Pence memo was stolen from, is it not? Oh, hey! hey! Wait, that voice. Ked Pence clusters, pure energy core, tough to extract, excellent weapons grade. Hmm. Kent's voice. It's supposed to be a monster that stole his memo list. Great, then there's a chance to get it back. Well, be careful though, it's been affected by the awful darkness. Need so, but we have no choice but to engage it. Prepare yourselves. Damn, light damage is a lot, son. Shit. Looking right out of the sky. Cool, and some level ups. Need a monster bounty? Bounty, you can copy some of them. 20. Okay. Can't stolen them a list. Fifth memo list, although I'm somewhat mystified as the value of its contents, having heard them. Take it back to camp, shall we? Be very careful not to have it. Word out with secrets by accident, like that monster did. that one blue chest is. Yeah, he's in that cave there. Let me see what this is. Oh, that's a battleground. And another cave. Start doing skirmishes just to level people up. Powder keg cavern. I need to go here for something. Another random quest. What's this? <laughs> What's 
you would stop fucking defending. What the hell does he keep doing that for? See him like guard a lot, I don't know why. This quest done with. Okay, it's a machine, so... Solid-bodied. That actually looks like a machine on the right, but... Okay. Do fire damage. Still got we still got three minutes of food. Yeah, let's fight it. Oblivion. Hey! Rugolossi, that must be the Oblivion, the robot Cindy may ask, asked us to take care of. Dead, <coughs> commencing an eyelash procedure, boop. Danger! Danger! <laughs> got all that weird aura all around him, Evan Mun, we've seen that nonsense before in it, you'll need to keep your guard up with this one. Ready for this? Statesman Sphere. Okay. Hard pendant. Noise. Let's check the southern spot. Leave this to me.
upgrade thread. Pebble. What freaking pebbles do I have? 22. I'm gonna have to go start trading them in for more health. We'll just, well, candy in general. I guess random anyways. Over level 50 now, that's nice. I just exit caves. Okay, I can. I'll remember that. At least items respawn fast, so it's not always a total waste. Probably exhaust at this point. <sighs> oh no, if any little cat king friend day, it's relief. We're all set. Kick the buck out here on my own. Flip it up! Back mine what happened by here then? I armed myself right out making it here. I got this far and I've not been able to move a muscle since. We said I'd come and crop for me boat today. Eh, yeah, never mind. Had a good run, I. Oh, come on now. You can't just stay there. Just try and get you moving. <sighs> yeah, you're alright. Announced the energy left. Reckon this me reckon this is me done for. Well, ready to place ready to be last as any. What? Don't say that, you just need some medicine, that's all waiter and we'll bring you some. If you don't mind, Troy, you'll probably put me back on my feet, no time flat. Yeah, here you go. Oh. Tried to ask the last, but Troy, you'll probably put me back on my feet. Yep, there you go. Throw the four leafed sword away. Stop! Stop Not for that, lad. I thought I were done there. Done for there for a minute. Oh, well, you're very lucky we came along when we did, and I think it's time for you to go home to Capstan, aren't you? Ah, you're probably no longer there. Listen, I'm sorry for all the bother it caused you. Make sure you get something for your trouble, though. Come see me when you're next in Capstan, alright? Mm. Be able to tell her to mix it home in one piece. Yeah, but... Alright, well, that's why we can put him in right old screen and stuff. Find him back in Capstan soon enough. There'll be a ward waiting for us when we do, by the sound of it. Tidy. Cool.
Hey, yo. Hey, up heaven. It's very good to see you. Now, I said that we're going to give you something to make up for all the bother I caused in Well, I'm going to have a word with Mr. Wright. We can come up with what you might need. I mean, you've already got a ship. But here's an idea for you. Instead of giving me some money, come live in my kingdom. We're always looking for new people to come and help us. Evermore's a wonderful place. We could really do with a talent ship right like you. Plus, you've always wanted to try living somewhere else, haven't you? It would be the perfect solution for everyone. Mm. Up sticks and move over your way? Well, it's a big step, but hi, go on then. Soon make up for you saving me skin. That's, mm. that's wonderful, thank you, Dylan. Say. Definitely. That's good. My last time is that is. Is it better in Hubble Bubble Ray? Right here. Living away for the boss, losers just paid off. You need something doing, Evan? Maybe. Cool. Greetings! That my newfound competence will enable me to make a greater contribution, glory of evermore. Awesome. <laughs> I'm going to blow me on trouble, but I'm dabbing him and all manner of things between you and me. I reckon I'm a decent bet to be taken over from the boss one day. Ah! Guys, hang up, folks. Think a swab like me, only good for one thing, fighting. There's more than one string to me, bow, matey. Master, cool. Hey there! There may not be the brightest star in the sky, but there's one thing I'm good at. It's a good old pig headed persistence. Put me in a job and I won't stop till it gets done. You can lay to that. Trojan supplies back there in Cloudwell Canyon. Just where I got the eye for detail. I just went quicker and quicker than me at picking up what's afoot. You mark me words. Awesome. Got yeah. him up. <laughs> yes. Be a chef by trade, but there's so much else I'm capable of. You can almost say I have other fish to fry. Mm. nice. It's so wonderful to be working for you again, Your Majesty. I'm determining this the kingdom Marinella would have loved, and I'm determined to work every bit as hard as she would have done to achieve it. And a lot of people leveled up. Oh shit. 
<laughs> I'm to and show me that I have not yet given all that I could to this kingdom. No, on, I promise to vote my heart and soul to evermore with even more dedication. Yes. Our shortest train has never had an end, but though we are only able to take one step at a time, before we know it, we have traveled a great distance indeed. Yes. Until now, I spent most of my life simply polishing jewels. We have opened up my horizon, but you have opened up new horizons to me, Your Majesty. Defy myself in being polished, that my inner light might shine. Hmm. Life is not merely about thought; it is also about action. Which is why I have decided to invite a young lady to whom I have taken a shine for tea. <laughs> I'm an incredible, amazing relative. Feel free to praise me in the most fat, wholesome terms. You the more appreciation I receive, the harder I will work. Nella Square, oh my god, how did I not know that was his mentor's name? Never picked up on that, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's a sign. Definitely need to do this. Actually, I gotta send him here because I need Builder's Eye. I should have done this first. I forgot all about that. Yep. Yeah. 
research. Need some money. Sure. Shit, I forgot to, um... Types of armor or accessories. I mean, building them. Which I need. There's rubber boots I needed. boots. Research or just create them? I just mean to create them because I would have. Accessories we can build here. Create. 
Probably just... Damn it. I actually have a lot of material to make these. Red means it's good, but it's not legendary. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'll create all this stuff at least once so I know where I am. Oh, not quit those. Better be fucking creating shit, because that wording's very odd. Develop can mean make it. No. Damn it. Yes. Repair boss boots right away. No. Quiche boots, yes. Oh, well, the 
freaking blue stars on there. Right here, so this is right. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. Grants earned. Yes. Oh, didn't. No, I only had one humble button. Okay, there. Yes. I can sell these. Come for you. This one's wrapped around an arrow, too. Mm -hmm. Arrow, Chingus, are you alright? No, you had a close shave last time. Alright, no need to worry about me, lad. Come just give me some training, I can pluck an arrow right out of the air now. <sighs> That's certainly good to hear. Now let's see what this letter says. Some imposter, nice king of mate, mean of a voice, snuck in and look around. Everyone seemed real happy. And they've all got jobs, and they dropped me wallet, and some bull gave it to me, gave it right back to me. Back so nice, I reckon I'm gonna have it to pinch it, pinch it off you, so... Yeah, little kitty, I'm coming for you, and I'm coming mob-handed this time, so you don't see any chance. Let him kiss Tyron, real king of the Heartlands. What? What? Tyron's going to attack us again. What a shame, I was actually thinking of inviting him to show him that it's possible in peace. Can't very well do that now. <laughs> Wait, in the swab here, indeed. Anybody think you've gone soft in that, lad? Were you looking to befriend the murderous rogue? <sighs> Oh no, I just... Don't be mean, Chingus. Yeah. Uh, it's really a jest, lad. Don't take it to heart. There's a watch post outside of town there. Get out there and make us proud. All right. All right, I'll head there right away. They're in the bandit warlord, self-styled one true king. and sent Evan another letter. It seems he's become a big fan of Evermore and wants to clean the kingdom for his own. Just real have to write him off again. Yeah. Teach Tyron and his boys a lesson, Evan Lad. I'm going to talk to Sentry of the Watch Post and see how things are looking outside the castle walls. Yeah. I'm responsible for looking after all sorts of people's gardens. I love my job. I just have getting carried away. Some of my creational creations aren't to everyone's taste. Okay, so. Types of armor and accessories. It's an incredible achievement for such a new kingdom. Does that mean you're going to move to Evermore? You know what? I think I am. I hope my skills prove useful mm. to you. I'm sure they will. I'm looking forward to seeing what you make for us. Mm. 
Okay, he's the one I need creative flare for, so. Back to F4. this because and he's in oh shit must oh, and he's in sign them hi oh there king evan hello look for sure going custom to life here never more yet oh yes I've taken it you can do it like a duck to water though i'd say i do still miss capstan mm-hmm well it's a surprise lovely place yeah Oh yeah, Zoe, it's me and Cap Sam, my own for Cap says we make him some shoes. Gosh! That's kind of quite hard to imagine him with anything on his feet. They told me I had an interest in footwear before coming here, but I've seen the kind of styles people wearing evermore, he started to feel a little envious. Right on, you know, make someone's first ever pair of shoes. Mm. Imagine, especially when it's for a friend. Mm. Back in the day, we were really close during my time, Cap Sam. Lost about him, it's fair to say. But I want to make him the very best shoes that I can, I want to be the talk of the town, in fact. I have a design in mind, I've gathered most of the materials, the only thing I'm missing is some chic ribbon. But why don't I go and get some for you, that way you can get started right away and catch one of us way long for shoes. I'm sure that would be great help, five lengths should do the trick. Mm-hmm. Of course, Captain. First spin, you just wait here, I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Gobbler really values time to spin, Captain, upon haul, and friends he made there. One of these friends catch this and make a new pair of shoes. Crispin is keen to cobble together the most stylish shoes and all I've ever worn. I've altered up. Find the materials. Oh. I do have the ribbon. Yeah. Really would be doing me a favor if you could find me five lengths of chic ribbon, Your Majesty. Chic. Yes. Here you go. Here you go. Chic. Here you go. Here you are, Crispin. Some chic ribbon. Wait, this is exactly what I needed. How much King Evan catch you soon be sporting most stylish shoes and all of Evermore. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see his face when he tries them on. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can I, I think it's going to be the highlight of my cobbling career. 
Thanks, man. So grateful you for reminding me of your kingdoms for a place to work. <laughs> I see the state of some shopkeeper's shoes, what with all the walk around to do. I can't help but be interested in well used. And how well used they are, even if I would rather they bought some new ones. It is. You brought back my memo. It still works, right? <laughs> oh, it definitely works. Yo! Well, in that case, you've earned your reward. I'll head on over to your kingdom ASAP. Mm. Wonderful. I look forward to seeing you there. Likewise, good. Hey, next time you head home, bring me some rocks to look at. I'm kind of bored if I can't do my thing, you know? Cool. Our next quest. Same me, my bloopin' day. There, you're looking pretty, bloopin' quick on your bloopin' feet, you do. Can't you make it deliver too? <laughs> Mike, mine's as good as you are. Return of phrase, beautiful it is. Don't take the Mick one. I spoke in this way, ain't it? Some folks find me a bit bloopin' rude, but I can't bloopin' help it. He, he, he. Hmm. I don't I didn't know robots could laugh. Well, we bloopin' them all. Oh, we bloopin' them all can, alright. Now I got. Ain't got time sitting around blooping. I got more important things to be worrying about. They've got Yugg's great pile of scissors like built by your in the bleeping lights we just successful and I got a bloop crushed on me. Crashed on me again. Those supposed we can all be paragons we can't virtue, eh? Ha ho! Paragon D, just listen to what you know, I like to say the bleeping system down, so I'll need your help to ruin these blooping stakes. Be quick mind, if you don't see sizzling for long. Alright! Alright, do our best. Doing brilliant, so I like your man. Right, you got three delivery instruments to do them in. No longer than that, the sticks for you won't be no good for bleeping nothing. I can't go around but advertising system sticks to turn up cold and tough as old bloopin' boots now, can I? Your three minutes runs out, come back by your and I'll cook you up another batch. Just don't waste two bleeping many, alright? But I'm expecting miracles, it's your first time, so getting them in there is the main thing. Oh, well, looks like you're all set. Say the word and I'll hand over the bloopin' goods. What about restaurateur with a unique turn of phrase when seven delivers some steaks while they're still something hot to the best around Bali? Make sure they're in good meat treats on time. Actually, I can wait on that. I want to get this other stuff done. Must be uptown then. <laughs> oh man, this is like super not cool. What am I supposed to do now? Um. Is there anything I can do to help? 
Or what are you, like my guardian angel or something? Anyway, there's something special about your man. You've got a real groovy aura. Anyway, yeah, there's something you can do. I'm looking for a screw, a certain very special screw. Mm -hmm. Screw, have you lost it somewhere or something? Hmm. Not exactly, I kind of dropped it. It's probably rolled all the way to downtown by now. Flip it, no time. man! Oh my God. How many floors is that? What are you doing? Dropping stuff? People can go tripping up, breaking their necks, eh? Hey, don't have cow, man. I didn't do it on purpose. Anyway, it was just done. Just like crying over split screws, right? Split screws, right? Did you go get it for me? Well, right. Now, time to be scouring every inch for where to find it. Mm hmm. I'm gonna be, of course, I'll be. We'll go and have a look and see what we can find. <laughs> you know what? And I knew it as soon as I saw you that you were the kind of guy who'd help a guy out. Time to right at the bottom of the tower. I'll start searching there for you. Working on the top floor of the treehouse, dropped a certain special screw and see drilled all the way down to the entrance hall. You can't seem to live without it, so I haven't done down there and pick it up. Nope. Hey! Hey man, you'll go find my screw for me, right? You can probably roll all the way downtown. Thanks man, you really helped me out here. Excuse me. Look, if you want to land a killer blow, you've got to get up close and personal. Hey! That's not what my data says. According to my research, there's much better chance to keep your distance. Hmm. Maybe magic is the answer. Go the bit. That's got to be the best way of changing things up. Uh. You know, you might want to take this someplace more private. I'm sure you don't want us listening in on all your military secrets. Military secrets, how is that what we were talking about? That's totally wrong. We're just talking about how to get ahead in the workplace, that's all. Hmm. I see. What does that mean exactly? I'll get your voice heard at meetings and make sure you guys take it seriously, that sort of thing. Oh. Oh, it's just really sounded like you were talking about fighting. I mean, I get why you thought that. All that stuff about killer blows and everything. Sure, it might sound like we're talking about battlefield strategy, but because the boardroom really can be a battlefield sometimes, you know? Must have heard of this stuff, right? Leaning in and all that. Well, just trying to make probably a better place for female employees, that's all. Language gets a bit aggressive sometimes. Well, there you go. I'm going to get in here by being nice all the time. Gosh! I sure you take your work very seriously, don't you? Sure. Sure we do, but we're not all about broadly corporate either. I know how important it is to have hobbies and interests outside the office. Really? Really? What kind of things are you interested in? Hmm. Well, I guess really want to answer that, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. The one thing we all love more than anything else is weapons. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm Sucker for anything pointed, piercing weapons are totally my thing. The more of a sword's got, simple and wild, I can design the better. Man, I could stir swords all day, all day long. I'm the magic maniac of the bunch. Wands, 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 all I ever think about. <laughs> we're not talking about military matters. Hey! They travel out, right? I guess it's kind of rude to ask, but if you ever spot any cool souvenirs while you're out on the road, we'd sure love to see them. Yeah! The problem, we love buying people presents over we have them. Or exactly as you have in mind. Wait, I know. How about a little horn shell? You could wear it in your hair. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Three of Broadly's top female engineers are keen to receive and raise souvenirs from all over the world. She's got some great ideas. All I have to check that thing she has in mind. Little horn shell. Brianna. Hmm. Horn shell. That sounds interesting. It's kind of, kind of perfect. <laughs> Very little thing, isn't it? These spikes measure sharp. You can get them if you file them down. But what about putting it in your hair? <laughs> hey, that's the plan. Freeze access in case they ever get attacked. Well, that's good, I suppose. Hi! Right, my turn next. Where are you going to get me? Um... So, yeah, what about a coral hue boom? Sure, that sounds great. I can't wait to see it. I always kind of hate it when people bring me flowers or something because we just call a hue bloom. It's going to be just the kind of thing I like. Uh. Oh, is this the coral hue bloom you were talking about? The color is almost fluorescent. Really pick out some sweet detail on the scabbard with this. <laughs> uh, how did you know you'd say? How did I know you'd say something like this? You no, know, you don't have to use it for anything weapon related. You could just. Put it in a nice face. <laughs> eh. We'll see, kid. We'll see. Okay, last but not least, me. What do you have in mind? Yeah, yeah, dream prison would suit you down to the ground. <laughs> well, that sounds dreamy, huh? I can't wait to see what it looks like. <laughs> see what this dream prison looks like. You do good things for me, you know? 
<laughs> I don't have one yet. <laughs> the slabby brought me into worry. I'm not going to turn it into paint right away. I'm going to keep it on my desk for a day or two first. <laughs> really cool that you're bringing us all the stuff you know. Thanks, guys. thousand freaking quests. I don't want to do it because it might be while I'm out in my adventure I can get it. I mean I just don't get it. Why can't I get any muscle tone? Listen here. Right, I'll tell you why I lad. Too many fancy exercises, not enough good honest graphs. It's been a few weeks since Sky Pirates to buy something to be bursting out of your uniform. Really that would be the macho look though? Nobody else seems to have any trouble. Me and I went on that boot camp at the Redwood Retreat, and I was the only one who wound up looking just the same as I did before. I've seen some kind of improvement after all the dough I handed over. Gosh! Gosh, you really do want to get a bustle, don't you? I kind of have to in my line of business. Folks don't feel too comfortable when the guy who's supposed to be protecting them is some kind of 98-pound weakling. No, listen here! That's not a pumping iron or whatever he calls it. Get you nowhere if you're not eating right. Surefi I'm sh I have a surefire recipe for turning skinny scrawn bags. Strap and Sky Pirates. Dude, what is it? Some kind of supplement? <coughs> well, what? No, lad. I'm talking about getting plenty of lean meat in you. Lean meat, lean meat, lean meat. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do what? We'll bring you a supply of the stuff and see for yourself the difference you can make. Um, we'll help. Um, well, we'll help him, of course, but can a bit of meat really make such a big difference about two? Sure, a somewhat skinny man who works probably for worried that he doesn't have the physique he needs for a job. And all sorts of try and bulk up. We still can't seem to put on any muscle to see the diet. About two swords, but I can make it. Please, you gotta be something like me. You're talking about you go through another boot camp, still have arms like twigs. Oh, hey there! You're allowed prime cuts of lean meat, just like we promised. Get a few of these down you, and you'll be strapping as a sky pirate in no time. I mean, I'm gonna be ripped like you. <laughs> South Ned boy look like me. And a diet only me of all the. Uh, <laughs> I suppose it was that simple, everyone would. Oi! Eat fresh milk too, curse you. What? Fresh milk. Hi, right, lad, let's see your ingredient if you want a body like mine to fresh milk with your lean meat. It'll soon be built like old Batu. Sort <laughs> <laughs> said it was me you wanted to be looking like, not the old Sky Pirate swab lad coming up. So we're gonna gather some up for a wannabe cloud snake here. I'm alright. Oh. Please, man, you gotta bring me some fresh milk. I need to bulk up like your friend, the pirate guy. Oh, hey there! Here you are, lad. A splash of fresh milk, just like I promised. Glug down and dry it a bit. That with your lean meat and your muscles will be big. Biggest stones for you know it. Who knows it? Smoke. Thanks. Oh, thanks, man. I've got to say, I didn't think you'd come through for me. I was wrong about you. And shut down on the stuff and lift a few weights. See if I can't finally bulk up a little. You wait there while I give it a try. <laughs> Twelve as much meat and milk as you like, lad. I'll take you more in a few minutes. Put some flesh on them, their bones. <sighs> now it says you send up for the turbo nutrient absorption program. And that pretty gay man, I'm going to be ripped in no time, I just know it. We're here, okay? I'll be back in a little while. If you don't recognize me, I'll be the guy with the huge guns. Hmm. Alright, <laughs> well. What do you like about these technology types, lad? But they certainly ain't short on optimism. Hmm. Well, there's no harm waiting a little while, is there? Let's see if it really works. Hey! Hey guys, guess who went and got shredded? Oh my goodness! Gosh, you look golly. Yeah! <laughs> is over doing it, you know, laddie boy. It's the body I've always wanted, now I've got it thanks to you, you guys big time. Sure now, he was only... It was only... <laughs> he made me a fresh milk man who thought so simple, but it's like a dream combo. Mm. 
What was that program he said he'd signed up for? Perhaps I should give it a try. No <laughs> <laughs> need for programs like lad, just keep working hard. And Kingly duties, you'll be built like a Saito B before you know it. It worked. Okay, I gotta stop here for now. I gotta take care of a few things, but uh. What the hell? Well, hey I'm there! Accept this quest. Why right there, perfect timing, wait, you're here to take part in trial, right? Trial, can trial, might that be a clinical trial course while dietary one precise and nutritionist? Yeah, it's my job to make sure everybody I'm probably perfect as the healthy and efficiently as possible. Oh. Um, just as you say. I'm trying to work on something very special right now, a complete ultra nourishing meal that fits right in your pocket, I call it. Your triple M is going to be a game changer. Got better nutrient going and eating easy for explosive energy like nothing else. It's good for the body and for the soul. Like I say, totally revolutionary. Oh, that really does sound quite impressive. And um, how does it taste? <laughs> oh, we won't know that till we begin to try. What do you say? I want to be the first test subject. First, oh, um, I'm already full of energy. I don't need any more. I'm sure you can find someone better to try it on than try it on than me. I guess you're right. We won't see any really convincing results. These people should run down. All right, how, how about we put all the energy to good use? I think we could eat this stuff a little more of a kick if we had some death breath garlic. I bolted what? Out the, I bolted death breath garlic. Death breath garlic. That'd be a little overpowering. Oh, only one way to find out. Let's change your mind about trying some right now. Oh, uh, oh no. Um, I'll see what I can do. Rocket fuel. Nutritionist and Broadleaf has developed a revolutionary food that will make tiredness a thing of the past. Now she needs some help with trialing it. The first thing Evan needs to do is find a certain something to give it an extra kick. Uh. Give my triple next next little more punch. Five bolts, death breath. Death breath garlic, how to do it. Let me out here. Alright. I'm gonna stop here for now. And I will be back later. Not sure if I'm gonna play this later or something else. Mix it up a little bit, but yeah, that's it for now. Still enjoying it. Side quests are burning me out a little bit though, but it's alright. Oh yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day, night. See you later. Bye. <laughs>